Good morning. So I'm here again, which means I woke up alive, and I'm very glad to be alive, and I hope that you are too. So let's get our, our pranayama on. Matsya mudra, one hand on top of the other hand, with the thumbs out to the side. And they wiggle, they wiggle a little bit like the fins of a fish. <clears throat> Another incarnation of Vishnu. It helps to balance the water element in you, which means it's going to improve kidney, bladder, and other sexual function with especially with emotions related to intimacy but it also evokes the union of Shiva Shakti another one of these Dwi Hasta two, two finger positions two hand positions all right so today reach the last in the combo series for this week and uh, we're going to work with Ujjayi breathing but with holding the exhale Bayakumbaka which of course, according to the Yoga Sutras, is one of the ways that you get into the samadhi state, the extended hold of the external attention, Bayakumbaka. So let's get to it. Find your seat. Move the skin of the buttock flesh away from the tailbone. And every one of the spinal vertebra, feel them lengthening, elongating, creating space. And then within the front chest as well as the back chest. All right, <clears throat> take a few restorative breaths as you establish your Jalandhara Bandha. First cycle will be open nostril, holding the breath after the exhalation. So, <clears throat> exhale your breath. Ujjayi breathing, slow, soft, smooth, silent inhale. Match it with a slow, soft, silent, smooth exhale. Now wait there and hold the breath. And restorative breathing. Always pay attention to the quality of that first restorative breath. It tells you everything you need to know about how you did the previous pranayama cycle. All right, so pranayama is a mirror for your mind, so watch what's being reflected there. Exhale, and now second cycle, ujjayi breathing. Ujjayi exhale. Wait there in Vyakumbhaka. and restorative breathing. Find your center of gravity so you can open up to the forces that live at the core and anchor yourself there. Remember, stability comes from consistency. Third cycle in the first round. Exhale the breath and ujjayi breathing. Exhale the breath. Wait there in Bayakumbaka. And restorative breathing. So remember, the guru principle has to do with the mentor in your life. And the guru studies the pupil and what they know and what they don't know. And of course, the teacher, mentor, exemplar, whatever, is supposed to live up to what they preach, what they've experienced, and they live their life so they show by example. This is how it is. All right, second round, <clears throat> we're going to narrow the nostrils on the inhale which will take a longer time then to get the breath in. Open nostrils on the exhale, and then Bayakumbaka and hold. All right, restorative exhale. Raise the hand. Narrow the nostrils, breathe in. Open the nostrils and exhale. Relax the hand and hold in Bayakumbaka.
and restorative breathing. Important aspect of your daily practice is giving yourself time to recover from any situations in life that are threatening, whether or not they're real or perceived to be real. This is the time for you to reset. All right, second cycle in the second round. Exhale the breath, raise the hand, narrow the nostrils, and breathe in. Keep the nostril, the breath close to the nostrils. Don't have it in the palate or the back of the throat. Open nostril, exhale. Relax the hand, wait there in Bayakumbaka. Feel it percolating, but there should be no trembling. And restore to breathing. Now, this would be true in general if you don't know how to manage stress. It's extra true in times like this when there's uncertainty <clears throat> and a lot of potential unknowns in our life going forward. So stress, when it's continuous, keeps you in a state of psychophysiological emergency preparedness. You got to back off. You got to cool out. Third cycle, second round, exhale the breath, raise the hand, narrow the nostrils, breathe in. Open the nostrils and exhale. Relax the hand and wait there in Bayakumbaka. And restorative breathing. When you're watching yourself so closely, what you learn to take away from the practice is that your instincts know something before you become conscious of it. You can proceed to the level of where thought comes from. You can watch it bubble up right from the beginning, and then you have a lot of control or choice. Free will happens to the extent that you're aware. If you're not aware, these things happen like a knee-jerk reflex, and it happens so quickly there's no way you can possibly respond. You're just reacting. So instincts made super conscious becomes intuition. So trust that. All right, third cycle. Now it's going to be open nostril, inhale, narrow nostril, exhale, biokumbaka. Let's get to it. <clears throat> Sink down on your next exhale. Let your eyes recede deep into the sockets. That'll make you very sensitive. Raise the hand, wide nostrils, inhale, ujjayi. Narrow the nostrils and exhale. Relax the hand, wait there in Bayakumbaka. And restore to breathing. Now, although avidya is one of the main principles <coughs> in yoga philosophy, indicating the act of not knowing the state of reality, there's a kind of sitting avidya, right? You're ignorant of the posture. If you slouch, then your own lack of awareness, your own ignorance of how you're positioning yourself is a major contributor to poor posture and its consequent ubiquitousness of back pain in our culture just from slouching. Slouching acts like a dope to the body. Lift up, widen, open up. Exhale, second cycle. Raise the hand. Open the nostrils. Breathe in. Narrow the nostrils and exhale. Relax the hand and wait there in external retention.
and restore to grip. Let's go right into a third cycle, third round. Raise the hand, wide nostrils, breathe. Now the nostrils and exhale. Relax the hand and wait there in Baya Kumbhaka. And restore to breathing. All right. So now moving on to the <clears throat> final round. Narrow nostril inhale, narrow nostril exhale, and then biocumbaca. So keep your lungs passive, non-resistant. Fill them completely with attention, but synchronize the movement. So there's even front, even back, even side movement from bottom to top. Exhale the breath. Raise the hand. Narrow the nostrils. Breathe in. Narrow nostril, exhale. Relax the hand, wait there in Bayakumbaka. And restore to breathing. All right, second cycle. Again, always passive. Brain, just witnessing what's going on. Don't shrink or cave in the chest on the exhale. And if you maintain that lift in the front, the back and the side simultaneously, you will have the complete exhalation, or they call it rechaka. Second cycle, fourth round, raise the hand. Narrow the nostrils, breathe in. Keeping the nostrils narrowed, exhale. Relax your hand and hold in Biocumbaca. And restore to breathing. All right, last cycle in the last round. See how the stillness pervades at the end of the exhale, especially if you've done the breath evenly. Attain the awareness of the stillness. <clears throat> exhale, raise the hand, narrow the nostrils, breathe in. Narrow nostril, exhale. And wait there in Bayakumbaka. And restorative breathing. Slowly bring your head up on your spine. And gently. Open your eyes. All right. Made it through another day, huh? Okay, that's great. So let's see if that extra exhale application gives you that chill feeling so you're really cooled out for the day as you go about what you're doing. I certainly hope so because you are ambassador to peace. So we are the tribe of the future. We're not the only tribe. Many, many tribes are working for peace. <clears throat> but we're certainly one of them. So bring your peace and your love and your awareness, and your compassion, and your humor, and your joy to the streets. See you tomorrow for a new cycle.